Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer USDT from Binance to BitGet in 2023. So of course, in this step-by-step -step guide, we'll navigate through the interstices, of course, ensuring like a smooth and secure transfer of your USDT between these platforms. So stay tuned as we unlock the secrets to effortlessly, of course, effortlessly manage your assets across Binance and Bidget. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial, uh, tutorial steps with. For me, in my case, I'm going to use like Brave Browser and of course in your case, could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the shuttle screen sections. Of course, we'll open two tabs. The first tab, we'll go and open Binance on it. So go to Binance.com, hit the enter button. And the second one, we will go into BitGets.com. Sorry. So BitGets.com and hit the enter button. So on these two platforms, make sure to go and log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't, you'll have to go and create an account. For Binance, for me, I'm already logged in. Of course, if you don't are uh, if you don't have an account, you can simply go and create one. You can even create it here in Binance with Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. And if you don't know much about Binance, you can add the home screen, scroll down, read more information about it, download it on your phone if you want to, and etc. Bidgets will be the same, or BitGit, you will be the same. So you will have to go and create your account to log in into your account, or you can simply connect your wallet like MetaMask or whatever you want, and make sure to go and log into your account or create your account depending on whatever you want so for me i'll just go and click on login here and let's log in with google i forgot if i have like an account in here or not but let's see so this order this this and this click on okay and let's see as an example yeah i do have an account with this name so now what we'll need to do basically on your Binance account, make sure to go to your wallet. Where can you find your wallet? Simply, if you go to your icon at the top right corner and here, as example, so let me just go and go to your the dashboard. So once you are here, as you can see, you basically find like any estimated value that you have in your accounts first of all. For me, I have no money. So make sure for you, that you have, of course, your USDT and Binance to transfer that from Binance to BitGet. Of course, once you do so, go to the dashboard and simply go and click on Withdraw. Make sure that your money is on your Spot and Fiat wallet. Of course, as you can see, I'll not be able to withdraw. Uh, it's suspended at the moment because I'll have to enable the two-factor authentication. I recommend you as soon as possible do that. So let's just enable it. As example, go and do this. And of course, I'll have to enable the app. So I'll have to give them like the code that I got in my email provider. I'll go to my email provider, go here, go and get that code. So it's 360869. 360369 or 8? Was it 9 or 8? Yeah, it's 9. Wrong. No, oh, it's eight. Okay, I'm wrong. It's eight six nine, not three six nine. So here I'll have to go to my phone. Of course, go to the app or authenticator app. Add the one. So I'll have to scan the QR code and scan it simply with my phone here. And here we are. I have it now. So basically, go and click on next. And I'll have to enter the code that I have on my phone now. Right now. So I'll basically just go and enter that. Out. Write this. Click on submit. And here I am. So my authenticator app is ready to use. So let's just close this. I don't need it anymore. And here I can simply just go back. Yes, leave. So now I'm ready to use. I can always go back to my dashboard. Of course, I can go to my wallet, first of all. Because as, as I said, it should be on my sports wallet. So if your money is on funding or margins or wherever they are, you can simply go and click on transfer. Transfer those money from whatever you have it, as an example, to fiat and spots. Make sure that you have them in your fiat and spots. 
So if you have them on your funding, if you have them on your cross margin, if you have them on your isolated margin, depending on wherever you have them, just go and transfer those money, their USDT, of course, because we want to transfer USDT, transfer them into a fiat and spot so we can withdraw them. Go to max, click on confirm, and you'll find them on your fiat and spot. So go to fiat and spots or spots basically. And here you'll have to choose like USDT or simply just go and click on withdrawal. And simply here you'll have to choose like USDT. And here you'll have to enter the address and network of that like address that you want to transfer into. We'll get that, of course, from BitGets. So go to BitGets, of course, and here we will have to go and access our wallet also and click on that wallet. And of course, instead of withdraw here, we'll have to go and click on deposits. Once we click on deposits, make sure to go and choose like fiat. And okay, sorry, it's crypto because it's USDT, sorry. And here, of course, the selected coin should be like USDT and then you'll have to choose network. For me, I'll not be able to do so unless I verify my key YC, which is know your customer, which is the ID verification. Without the ID verification, I'll not be able to do so. So you will have to do and verify your ID with the government's ID, faith authentication, or and you can do it with ID card, passport, or even driver license. For me, I'm not going to do so at the moment but for you what you'll need to do go select usdt select the network and you will get an address this address just go here to binance and paste that address in here as an example whatever whatever like whatever you have of course make sure that your address is 100 correct because if it's not correct your money will be lost then you'll have to choose the network make sure it's the same network as this one if you choose like here the TRX network, the TRC20, make sure here to choose like the TRC network. So I'll just remove this as example. So make sure to choose here the TRC. If you choose here another uh, like network, make sure to choose here on the same network and make sure that you select USDT coin and the address that they will give you enter it right here without any letter less or more. If you do so, if you make it wrong, your money will be lost forever. Once you do so, once you finish like uh, entering this, you will find like the trading fee is gonna be from 0 0.2 to 7 USDT. The minimum withdrawal is 10 USD, a USDT, and that's it. So you'll be able to withdraw your money. You'll have to wait a bit until your money is received in here. Once it is, you will be good to go, as simple as that. So that's gonna be it for us today. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.